Wilson Morales, Black Women TV. Hey, Zach, how's it going? Hi, Wilson. Nice to meet you. Good. So, you know, talk to me about this short film, and it's the first time that, you know, Disney's doing it in five years. How did it come about that you were directing it? Uh, pure luck, it feels like. Um, I, I was contacted by, by Jen and Clark um, at the end of 2018, I believe. Um, I don't know why they chose me. I mean, I've, I've been at the studio a long time. I've, I've held a lot of different, a lot of different roles in, in, in different places throughout. And I got to direct a short circuit short. Um, but I'm not exactly sure why they chose me, but I'm very, very fortunate that they did. Um, but they, they told me in 2018 that, you know, they wanted to create, they wanted to bring back the program. They wanted to change it a little bit. They wanted it to be, to feel a little bit more, um, like our theatrical program. And so we actually had to do like a, the multi pitch that our directors do for our features. So I pitched four ideas. They selected one, we went into development. We actually got to work with the development team. Um, and, uh, and then it kind of took off, took off from there. It was, it was, it was awesome. You know, and I already know animation, it's a long process before it gets to the screen, Yeah. Uh, but this is a short film. Did it feel longer than your, than your usual work and you know let's talk about this and then it, let's go into the story about like why this particular story yeah. as opposed to the other ones you pitched yeah 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 um yeah i mean it was it was a long process it wasn't it wasn't originally going to be that long obviously the pandemic you know uh messed up a little bit of our timing we were supposed to be done a little bit earlier it got stretched out because we were figuring out how to how to work in this in this new way um but uh but it was it was about a year, year and a half all all in. We've been we've been done for a little bit with this one. Just been kind of sitting on it, wait waiting for where it would be attached. Um, but uh, the reason I think this one got selected is I you know I think we we all connected to the emotion of the story. You know I think we all we all experience in some way what art was going through in this film. As far as we all we all age, we all think about aging in different ways. Um, and I think there was also a love of the idea of dance, and, you know. I think I it was it was very strong in my passion when I was pitching it because I was so excited about it, and the perspective of of seeing something like Keone and Mari on screen because at the time we didn't we didn't think I didn't think it would be actually them doing the choreography. I was just pitching it as I think it would be really cool to create this world that feels like their style of dance because it her, their style of dance sort of feels like animation and there's there's this really cool synergy there. Um, and I guess it just, it got everybody excited, you know, both emotionally and, you know, kind of entertainment wise. So the challenge is that knowing that you're not just creating an animated sequence, but that sequence involves a lot of movement when you're involving the dances, yeah. you know, so, you know, the sketching and all of that stuff, that has to be a lot of work. And then you come in and you try to put it together. Yeah, it was, it was definitely, this film was, it was a huge challenge, especially, you know, the, the level of complexity of this film, you know, when we, when we really stepped back and looked at it, we're like, all right, we're going to need, you know, quite a few sets in order to kind of see them transitioning across this city. You know, we need characters who can transform from young to old. We have crowds, we have cars, we have rain and effects and, and, uh, and all of that. So uh, it was definitely a large undertaking, but our team was, was super enthusiastic and super collaborative and, uh, and they didn't shy away from any of it. I offered up a lot of times where it's like, well, we could probably do this, you know, just like a, a painting or something. They're like, no, we're going to do it. We're going to do it right. And, and they, they knocked it out of the park. You know, the saying goes, everything old is new again. You can look at that in any different aspect. And then when you look yeah. at this movie here, you know, here are these dancers who are now older, but have to find a way to connect again. And then, you know, throughout the short, you see them find a way, hey, it's not, we can get back to doing this, you know? Yeah, exactly. And that says a lot for a lot of people. Yeah. you know, uh, who are going to see this as they see Rye and the Last Dragon. Right. But for you as a director, and obviously you mentioned earlier that you've worked with Disney for a long time. Yeah. You know, your evolution, you know, it's like you've gone from certain steps and certain departments to now this. What does this do for you when you're taking on this work? They're like, okay, next man up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's been an amazing journey the entire time I've been at, at the studio because you know, and even even where I'm at now, after finishing us again, to to get to participate in telling other people's stories as well. I think that's that's one of the amazing pieces of being a part of Disney is 
you're part of this very large team and you're working with a lot of people to help tell a very specific story with a very specific vision and getting to direct us again, it, it got to be, you know, my personal story and my personal vision. And, um, and that was a huge honor as well. And to see people rally, rally around that. And then when I was done to switch back and to, to help make Ryan the last dragon, like it's kind of the cool kind of cycle that happens when you, when you get to work at a studio like Disney, um, that you, that you kind of get to wear all of those hats, if you will. You know, and it, you talk about, you know, the, the characters, there are in this, you know, no one knows this, you know, who's behind it, but they see who's on screen and you yeah. see it's a mixed race, yeah. you know, and that goes a long way because that just shows you, Hey, look at this, look at the world that we're living in. Exactly. And it, that will resonate with a lot of people. And that was, that was always the intention from day, from day one, I wanted it to be an interracial couple because I'm, I'm in an interracial couple. Um, and, and we, we also wanted to make sure that we had as much representation on screen as humanly possible. Cause this, this was a story about the world that we live in and it, it would, it would, we would be remiss to not showcase that, you know, it's also a story about, you know, age. And that's also something that's underrepresented on screen, you know? And so across the board, we, we were very, you know, specific about making sure that we were having as much representation on screen as possible, but also we were committed to having people in the room throughout the process who reflected the characters that were on screen so that we were doing it in the right way. Mm -hmm. You know, when you work with Disney and when you work with any animation, that requires patience, you know, yeah. <laughs> knowing that like, okay, we're working on this project, it's going to take a while before it yeah. comes out. Because of the pandemic, you know, you're still working on it. You know, what's kept you busy, you know, in between this time? You know, what else have you worked on besides this? Well, I mean, I was I was fully focused on on us again, you know, for about a year and a half. We finished in July and then I think I took three days off or something like that and then immediately started animating on Raya and the Last Dragon um, until we finished that. And now I'm working on some Disney Plus content um, mm -hmm. that's, that's unannounced. And so, you know, there's so much cool stuff happening in the studio right now that that Disney Plus kind of has opened up the possibility for us to do even more than than our features. Um, and I'm, I'm sure I'll roll on, I'm going to go on paternity leave soon because my wife is pregnant. Um, but, uh, you know, when I come back, I'm sure I'll animate on Encanto and, you know, it's just, it's a really exciting time to, to be at the studio and get to, to work on all of these different projects from all of these different filmmakers with all these different perspectives. And then uh, your work on Raya, you know, there's always a number of directors on an animation film, but can you talk about your work on Raya and, you know, how much excitement there is for people to see it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was, it was super fun, you know, getting, getting to work with Don Hall again was, was super cool. He was, he was my mentor through the making of us again. I was the head of animation on big hero six. So we worked very closely together on, on that film. Um, but also, uh, with the other directors on the film, uh, it was, it was great. And I was, you know, I was just there to help support their vision. I was just an animator uh, on the show. And so, you know, I, I got my assignments and I tried to, you know, make the characters, you know, shine and, and to dig as deeply into those characters as possible. It's really our, our responsibility as animators is to, you know, live in the skin of these characters. So, uh, and it's, it's such a great film with such a great message that is so important right now, especially um, so to get to work on that film and also have my film attached to it is, it's a really cool, unique opportunity that I don't know how many people get to have. Congratulations, obviously, once again, uh, us again, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, so that people will get to see this, you know, and, uh, enjoy short films because we don't get that yeah. many of them, at least yeah. on a big screen, on a small screen. So, you know, Disney knows what they're doing when it comes to promoting their work. So yeah. I look forward to see what your next work will be whenever it gets announced and just continue to do the work. Thank you so much. It was really great meeting you. Take care. All right. You too. Bye-bye.